Um, I don't know. I was always creative. I was like, I was always the kid who like, I didn't like sports. I didn't really do much else. So I had to find something that I liked and I liked art. I work at the Library Street Collective, which is a gallery downtown Detroit. I'm the program coordinator there. Um, and I also am a freelance or, or independent curator and a visual artist. A lot of my, um, my practice revolved around Detroit. So I felt it was important for me to just come back home where I could like make the work that I needed to make. So. On the east side of Detroit, the members that impacted me the most about Detroit, um, the DIA. So my mom taught me how to catch the bus at an early age to the Charles H. Wright Museum, the Science Museum, um, the Detroit Institute of Arts, and the Detroit Historical Society Museum. What's changed since I've been here? The entire downtown Detroit, um, or as we call it, New Detroit. When moving over here, was scared to, was scared that I might have possibly been moving into a food desert, which has always been like something I always think about. Is like if the, if the area I'm moving into has, um, if there's grocery stores or places to buy food that's close um, to where I live, and thankfully there's a plethora of <laughs> stores and stuff in the area. So yeah, so they're currently fixing the Central Train Station that's located here in Michigan, and with them renovating that. The community is already aware that our rent and property taxes in this area is going to go up due to the fact that people are going to look at this area as a hot commodity, similar to what they did with Corktown, where now houses as the size of our house is a half a million to purchase. So I would stop that shit before it happens. Um, I think it's ridiculous that um, the price of living is getting to the point where like working class people, people who've been in these, been in this city, a part of this community for so long, are scared that they won't be able to afford the house they live in. 